thing in this video I'll show you how to add the GNS3 topology to your physical computer uh, the Windows machine what I'm using because this is really useful uh, especially when you are running some kind of applications like when, when I discuss some topics like syslog servers or maybe some SNMP or maybe you want to manage your router via GUI graphical interface by using CCP or you want to manage your ASA firewall through GUI we must install some applications here and we can connect your physical computer which is installed with those applications and I can manage the devices in the GNS3 topology so probably we'll be seeing these things uh, in the future classes so will be useful uh, but at this point of time we'll see how to connect a router of course the router ASA the same process connect to the physical computer now for this on my computer I need one a virtual interface the logical NIC card now we can either add a Microsoft loopback adapter which is something you can add from a hardware wizard probably I'll show you some steps you can google it uh, to find out or I can also use some virtual interfaces so in general you can simply search on the internet like how to add a Microsoft loopback adapter on the Windows 7 or Windows 10 machine whichever you are using you'll find some different links like here uh, you'll find some steps again so this is something you can do it from a device manager add a legacy hardware and then you select the network adapters and select this uh, this KM test interface and then click next and you might need to restart the machine and once you do this probably you'll see see this NAC card here so what I can do is I, I can virtually connect this NAC card to my GNSC topology but in my topology in my lab I'm not using this loopback adapter because if you already install a VMware in your machine you will see some virtual NAC cards virtual VMnet interfaces and by default it will install two VMnet interfaces like VMnet and VMnet 1 so you can use this VMnet interfaces also to connect so if you are using VMware already installed in your machine you can use those VMnet interfaces also can act as a virtual NSC and I'll be using this of course I added more VM interfaces for my multiple lab scenarios so I'll be using this VMnet 4 interface to connect so the first thing you need to have your topology so I do have my topology here so let's say let's start the router 1 and what I'll be doing is I'll be setting up my topology uh, something like this so I'll be connecting this topology the router 1 I'll be connecting to my PC here and the IP address I'll be using 10.1.1.10 here and of course the IP address here is already configured with 10.1.1.1 so you can connect to switch or hub if you're connecting multiple devices I generally prefer connecting directly so what I need to do is I need to drag and drop the cloud here uh, the cloud and once you drag and drop this cloud uh, we need to click on configure option and you can delete all the interfaces you have to select the specific interface what you want to use like in my case I'm using this interface and on in this interface already I have configured the IP address of 10.1.1.10 the subnet mask same same subnet mask and the gateway 10.1.1.1 so assign the IP more like you do a normal interface and I'm going to I have given the name I have renamed it because just to make it simple for identification you can also rename this because when I use multiple interfaces in my labs it's very difficult to differentiate which interface is used for what purpose and what is the subnet so I'm, I'm this is the name what I have changed of course that is enough if the interface doesn't show up you can select this option to see other interfaces also so which means this interface this cloud is like virtually connected to your physical computer via this interface and select the cable and and then connect it so this is more like connecting you a cross cable between a physical router and the physical computer and now for testing you can go to the router one console of course on the router one console I can say show IP interface brief 
just to confirm my IP address thing is perfect and I can go and say ping command to make sure that you are you are able to ping to the PC and if you see the ping is not working in that case make sure that your firewall is disabled of course you, you need to check the firewall is uh, disabled uh, is also along the GNS3 application while installation and if you see one way ping works then mostly the firewall will be an issue you can also go to command prompt and check from the command prompt to verify the reachability to the router you should see the reply comes so this automatically confirms that you you do have reachability from your gns3 topology to your physical computer and now you can run some applications on your computer and you can connect that to the gns3 topology